Okay, so this video is all about determination and what it means about yourself, your success in your exams, and then hopefully later life as well. Now it's gonna be a few minutes and I've got a couple of examples to talk about. So in terms of your will to succeed, it all comes down to you and the way that you approach problems. Now, when I was in the military before as a teacher, uh, I'd worked with some airborne forces and I decided that that's the route that I wanted to go down. And it took me a long time to get there and I sort of failed at various points along the way. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with failure. As long as you realize the big picture, it's like the thing you want at the end of it. And uh, basically I uh, earned my maroon berry and I did that by passing something called P Company. Now P Company is quite physically demanding and you've got to be super fit. And so to prepare for that, I was doing as much training as I could, uh, you know, kind of lots of running, lots of running with load and going to the gym and stuff like that. Um, and basically I prepared as thoroughly as I could physically for that test. And therefore I found a lot of them fairly straightforward. Some of them though were particularly challenging. And a lot of the, the, the reason that people pass the course wasn't about how fit they were, it's about how determined they were to keep going when things got hard. And indeed there's some people who are a lot fitter than I was, but they didn't have that mental will that once they started, they knew they'd finish. For me, I always went into it thinking that, you know, unless I got, you know, severely injured and actually sort of snapped myself. And I guess on the course, I think somebody, uh, his knee kind of uh, sort of bent 90 degrees sideways when he landed funny. And a few other people had, um, I think, blisters over the entire sole of their foot. Now, most people would think, well, you know, I've had enough, there's a lot of pain there. But these people, they, well, the guy with the blisters anyway, he carried on, he taped up his foot, and then he went out and did a 10 mile load carry at speed. And it's that kind of determination to kind of keep pushing himself physically, uh, you know, physically more than other people that kind of got him through the course and allowed him to pass. And you've got to be the same. When you're revising, don't you think, well, do you know, I'm a little bit tired, I'm gonna stop now. Think about pushing through that tiredness, knowing that in the long run, you'll, lo you'll know more physics, you'll have a better chance in those exams. So the reason that I passed P Company uh, and then I got my maroon berry and eventually uh, got my airborne wings, so I, I was a, a paratrooper in the army. The reason I got that wasn't just my physical fitness, it's because of my will to succeed. It had been a goal for a long time and I did everything I could and I made lots of sacrifices along the way to get to that point. And it's something that I'm very proud of. Now, another example, which I guess is gonna be a bit more relevant for you is a girl I taught about three years ago and uh, she got a D at AS level. She wasn't that confident in class. She didn't sort of seem to grasp the concept straight away. But what she had was a real determination to succeed. She had to get certain grades so she could get to university and really improve the kind of life that she had. And because of that, she worked you know absolutely flat out for this whole of year 13 and she found it really really hard and at times you know she was very stressed uh, and at times it sort of did kind of get to her but what she had was this determination to succeed and because of that she was always because of that she was always coming to me to ask for more help when she did a past exam paper and she didn't get a question right she would have a look at the mark scheme she'd try and work it out herself and then she'd come to me and ask for help and then often she didn't get it and she'd ask again and again and again. And I'd be explaining things three or four times to her. And that was after school, you know, after school on a Friday when I wanted to go home and she needed to be home as well. But the thing is that she had this massive determination to succeed. And eventually at the end of A-level, she got an A grade, which was three grades above her predicted grade. So she did amazingly well. Not because she got the stuff first time, not because she had any kind of natural ability, but because she worked hard. And she worked hard with a very, very clear goal in mind. And I guess at the moment I'm not doing exams, but I do have a very clear goal. My aim is to make all of these videos for A-level physics so that every single kind of concept and every little bit of the course for every exam board is covered in one of my videos, as well as all the kind of practical experiments that you might need to do, as well as working up to like doing more and more past papers. Now obviously I've got other things that I'm doing and I love my job as a teacher, so I'm not gonna give that up, but I've, I've got this real determination that will keep me going for sort of uh, five or six hours after I spent, uh, you know, sort of 10, 11 hours at work in, in the week. And so I've got this determination now to make this set of videos for yourselves and you've got to match that. The fact that you're already watching this video means that you're doing what maybe a few other, you know, probably another 80,000 people doing A-level physics aren't seeing. So you've already kind of started, but you've got to follow this through, not just with uh, idly watching videos, but actually getting down to that work. The only person that's stopping you get the highest grades is yourself. You can't blame other teachers, you can't blame other people, you can't blame your school, you can't blame the textbook. It's not the exam board's fault. If you want those grades, they're out there, ready for you to get, but you've got to put the work in. So good luck over the next uh, few months and a few weeks as you continue this hard work, that it will be hard, but if you do that hard work, it means that your exams will be so much easier and that'll open up so many doors later in life. Anyway, that's my motivational speech. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>